Hey, Bayek, it's me, Ian. and in today's video, I'm looking at this. This is Lady in the Water from 2006. Yes. Now, it's a bit of a controversial one, this, um, but you'll see why as I get into it. Uh, it's not a very popular film at all. But I, well, I'm here, and I'm going to give it some support. I'll tell you. Anyhow. It's a fantasy psychological thriller. Um, it's 109 minutes long, and Rotten Tomato give it 25%, which ain't bad, is it? I mean, you know, for them, that's not bad because I thought it'd be lower. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I did, I thought it'd be lower. And of course, the reasons are quite clear why um, it gets. Um, this kind of hate sometimes um, and people really not going at this um, it's because it is an M. Night Shyamalan film he wrote it um, the screenplay and it's based upon um, well his a bedtime story that he told his uh, children and he developed that and they loved it and, um, and from that idea he wrote a screenplay about this and I, that's really good very imaginative and but some people call, call it self-indulgent but they would wouldn't they he also produced this and of course he directed this and uh m night shalaman has got such a wonderful filmography he really has there's some really outstanding films i think so anyhow the Sixth Sense was the one that really shot him into stardom in 1999. Um, Unbreakable trilogy. We've got the first one, 2000. Then we've got Split, 2016. And then we've got Glass, 2019. Um, and of course, we've got Science, 2002. That was a massive... You see, that was really well-loved. And so the village as well was pretty positive as well, which I, I, I've got a real soft spot for the village. It's 2004. Um, also, The Visit is well thought of 2015. Old, 2021. I personally like, but again, that had a bit of mixed opinions. And of course, this year's Knock at the Cabin, 2023, is fantastic. Great film. Um, anyhow, let's go into the cast of this film. We've got um, uh, Paul um, Giamanti. Paul Giamanti playing Cleveland Heap, um, which is the important character in this film. Um, he's got a quite interesting um, films that he's been in. Uh, Truman Show, 1998. Also, Saving Pri Private Ryan. Uh, 1998 he was in the Hangover films part two. He was in um 2011. He was in uh, Twelve Years a Slave 2012. He was in The Amazing Spider-Man 2014, the second one, and um more recently he's been in Jungle Cruise. I think that was a Disney one, wasn't it? Um, 2021. Then, of course, we've got Bryce Dallas Howard. Oh, you know, I love love her. I think she's great. Um, she plays Story. And, um, well, she was in The Village, of course. Um, we, and she was fantastic in The Village. Um, yes, Spider-Man 3, she was in 2007. And, of course, she was in the Jurassic World trilogy. Um, the first one, 2015, 2018, and 2020, Now, again, it's interesting. Um, because a lot of people are not very keen on that um, trilogy, but I, I love it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I would, but I do. Um, yes, and uh, Rocket Man. Apparently, she was in that. You know, I've never seen Rocket Man. Um, 2020, uh, 2019. Um, but of course, also. 
she's such a talented act, um, artist, really. She's a, a, a director. She directs The Mandalorian. She's been directing, um, you know, the Star Wars um, series. Amazing. Absolutely think she's great. Then we've got um, Bob Balaban playing Harry Farbar. He was got interested in a lot of films. Here. 1977, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, which is one of my favourite Spielberg films. Uh, Altered States, another great film, 1980. Um, Gosford Park, 2001. And then we've got films that are, I suppose are linked with the director, The Grand Budapest Hotel, 2014. And this year he was in Asteroid City, uh, 2023. So there we are. Uh, then we've got Jeffrey Wright playing Mr. Dury. Now, he's known really for his role as Felix in the James Bond films. Yeah, we've got a Bond film link here. He was in Casino Royale, um, which is the first one of uh, Daniel Quinn. That's 2006. Quantum of Solace, 2008, which isn't as well thought of. But he was also in No Time to Die, 2021. Um, he plays Felix, yeah. Uh, then he was in The Batman. Wow, I love The Batman. Playing James Gordon. Uh, that's in uh, 2022. Wow, great. Then we've got Sunita Chowdhury playing Anna Ran. Um now, she's in a film called Midnight's Children, 2012, which was from a controversial uh, book by Salman Rushdie, as I remember, and it was big news, uh, massive news about that, caused a lot of problems um, in terms of well, what happened with it. Um, anyhow, um, then she was in The Hunger Games Part 1, 2014, and Part 2... 2015. It's quite big films, as I remember. She's in a horror film called Evil Eye 2020. And she was in The Green Knight, which was quite a popular film in 2021. Yeah, there we are. Then, um, of course, in this film, her brother is played by, you've guessed it, M. Night Shyamalan. He plays uh, Vic Ran. And I think he's good. Again, people were just having a go at him, saying, oh, he's acting, yeah, blah. As they would, they do. Yeah, I think he's good. I'd call it self-indulgent. Well, why? Blimey, anyhow, I won't go into that. Uh, anyhow, we've got Sin Cindy Chung playing uh, Young Soon Chow. She's quite important in the film. Um she was in um, a film called The Light of the Moon, 2017. A lot of films and um, TV stuff as well. As are a lot of uh, actors nowadays. They do a lot more TV as well. Uh, she's excellent in this. Then we've got Freddy Rodriguez playing Reggie. Um, now he was in, um, interested, Grindhouse Planet Terror, 2007, which is... Quite an, um, well, it's an interesting film, isn't it? Yes, uh -huh. definitely, with, especially with the Tarantino bit and everything. And Yes. And then it was in VHS 85, which is from this year, 2023. And uh, again, stack of TV things in there. Um, then we've got, um, let's see, we've got Freddy, um, sorry, I've got that. Bill Irwin, Bill Irwin playing Mr. Leeds, Mr. Leeds, wow, great name, Leeds, yes, yeah, hey, Yorkshire, yeah, anyhow, sorry I had to get that in, uh, yeah, um, my home, birth town, city, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm off again, anyhow, he was in our, um, how the Grinch Stole Christmas uh, from um, 2000. Um, apparently, does a lot of voice work as well. And um, generally on, on TV, and like they do, you know. So it's an interesting cast. Um, that, there's a few more, but I've just gone through those sort of main ones. Um, but um, it's a great cast. I think they all do a great job as well. And I think they, again, he gets a really... 
good performances out of out of his cast. Um, excellent. Um, now um, the uh, music is by James Newton Howard. What a wonderful composer he is! Great, absolutely wonderful. Um, now it was filmed at Jacobson Logistics in Levertown, Levertown, yeah, Pennsylvania, and they built all this um, the the apartments block and uh, the swimming pool. All that was specially built on this set, um, and that's uh, fantastic, isn't it? It it looks so good. You know, I really love the creative element when they do that. And that's what he's like as a director. He's done this so many times, creating the sets and fantastic. It, it, it looks so good as well. And when we see the swimming pool. Um, so, you're saying, what's all this about then? Well, the story is that the superintendent of this apartment block, Clevelandy, is... Really, it's a very sort of sad kind of um, man, really. Um, he's feeling the pain of his losing his wife and children who were murdered. And that obviously is absolutely devastating. But he does his job. He interacts well um, with all the um, people in the apartments and then there's this swimming pool and he sees well, he sees this woman and um of course that's where all the story starts to go then and it turns out um she is a nymph oh that's how it but they call themselves nerfs and um the story involves him putting together of how to get um her back to where she belongs in the blue world and yeah you're already going yes <laughs> yeah and um the problem is uh is fitting all these things together how to do it when you've got a threat of these like creatures and these creatures um that are there are like wolf-like things they're called the scrunt they're very um yeah well yeah you won't want to mess with them um and um what happens is that uh what is the great sort of magical bit where all this is put together is that um he is trying to put you know cleveland heat he's trying to get everybody on board to help in putting all this together and getting her back. I've really simplified it. And but it's a great it 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 you, you you've got to see it to believe it. But that may be the problem that the story why a lot of people didn't get it was it it, it perhaps feels too complicated. They they don't quite understand it. And I can see that. I can see that. Um I really can see that why people may find this because you know uh, people say hey, it's not real but a film is a film i consider that the particular world that it's in and it's a fantasy element within that film and that's fine um that it doesn't have to obey the laws of the modern world um but what it does and which is so brilliant uh, is um getting these characters involved and you know, if you start to go deeper about into these films, it is a lot about um, the mythology and communications um, we have with our past. Um, it's about also looking at another theme that is constant about grief as well and um, how we try and get back into the world can be very difficult. It is difficult sometimes. And also that not everything is always what it seems to be on the surface, that there's a lot more deeper things in life. And also about people actually getting to know each other properly. 
start making assumptions about people, what they look like and how they are. This is beautifully done. And he just puts it all together in such a wonderful way. And, I, and I'll tell you something, the creatures are really great design. So they're fantastic. Honestly, uh, his direction as usual is fantastic. I don't understand why people have been so, well, you know, they don't really like this film at all in a bad way. They really get very hateful about it. But I think it's great. I think it's unfair. And I loved it. I really did, as you might guess. Anyhow, here it is. There it is. And it's got some wonderful extras. The extras I just watched and absolutely adored them. I think that's it, really. <laughs> that's it. Um, I know I may have divide opinion and not everybody's going to agree with me on this, but I loved it. I, I, just, I got a lot out of it. And um, I know I perhaps don't love it as much as um, The Village um, and, you know, some of the other films, but I did love it. I want to watch it again. It intrigues me, and that's all that counts, really. I, I did. Yeah, I'm very happy with this film. And I want to see it again, and I will watch it again. And I do, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's it. So, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, then we'll let you know when I put out these videos. If you like it, please give it a like. It helps with the algorithms and gets it out onto YouTube. Hopefully other people might enjoy it. Um, if you've got any comments, please put your comments down. I really love to read your comments. And it all costs note, so you can't say better than that. So all I gotta say is I'll see thee I'll see thee again.